Tom here from Lawrence Systems, and the Cisco end of life policy is probably shorter than you think here in 2023, but you would also be correct in saying, didn't it used to be longer? And isn't that the reputation they built? Yes, but that has changed. Our end of life policy, well, that's what we're going to talk about today because it's a lot shorter than it used to be. And I don't think that's a good thing. So let's dive into this topic. And I don't like to think of things in a subjective terms. Let's be very objective and precise. And I'll leave links to everything I'm talking about here, which includes the way back when machine. Cause we can say way back when didn't Cisco have better end of life policy. And this is from March 19th of 2014. This is their official policy page. And yes, you're absolutely right. And we're going to focus on software support under 4B because we're just going to talk about the switches specifically here. After the first year of operating system, where available, we will provide bug fixes, maintenance releases, workarounds, or patches for a period of four years for operating system software. Bear in mind that it may be necessary to use software upgrade releases to correct a reported problem. Good. This is four years after they stop selling a product that I get support. And with a switch, that makes a lot of sense because I may buy something and then it goes end of life. But at least I know I don't have to rip it out for at least four more years. And five would be more preferable. You know, five year refresh for hardware is pretty common in the industry. Well, I should say pushing people to refresh hardware is common. People refreshing hardware, less common. But in this world of heavier compliance, which is a good thing, we have to have these things patched. And if they're no longer supported, they have to to be replaced. Now, some people may be looking at the forced replacement at a short period as a good thing, but this can be very difficult when you're telling clients they have to replace their perfectly working switches because there's no more software support. And the way this works is you have a end of sale notice six months before the end of sale date. From the end of sale date, and this is C4B, the section we read, we have this four years of support. This is what they used to do back in March 19th of 2014. This is the policy here in August of 2023. And we can see it's one year of bug fixes, maintenance releases, workarounds, or patches for critical bugs from the end of sale date. So how much of a heads up? Do we get more of a heads up? Not really. Let's scroll down to their chart. And while they still give us the same six months heads up for a product going end of sale, we have from day zero, only one year of support that they will offer for this device. Now, this whole discussion started after I reviewed the Cisco Small Business Switches, and Jason Slagle had messaged me. He's the president of CNWR, the company we merged with, and said, Tom, the support cycle is really short on these. And he's not incorrect about that, but it's because Cisco changed the policy. So it's not just the small business, it's all the Cisco switches. So you're not crazy thinking that didn't Cisco used to offer much longer support cycles. Now, before you start saying, you know, Tom, you just don't like Cisco and you're picking on them, I'm not. I'm actually very happy Cisco has a policy. I just wish the policy was longer. But has a policy is the important part because I can't really point to any gold standard out there for policies on this because many of the companies don't have them easily found, searchable, or even publicly viewable unless you register with their website, which I don't understand why I'd have to register with your site just to look up a product and see if it's end of life. So companies need to do better on this, but maybe it's just some, and leave your thoughts down below on this, a conspiracy for these companies who force us to buy product more often because if they drop support for it, then we have to be in compliance by having a switch that has maintenance support. And now I have to replace it ahead of schedule that really is not really end of life for schedule because we have a lot of one gig switches in place that are perfectly adequate for the customer's use case. It's not like I need to replace them. There's nothing physically wrong with them. It's just I can't get software updates or patches. And now there's potentially a security vulnerability and I don't want to replace them under duress. So I have to keep them in compliance along with the agreements we have with clients who support their network. So this puts us definitely in a situation of replacing more hardware, which is probably good for business, but not necessarily good for the customer. And I don't think that's where they should just be wasting money. That's my opinion and my thoughts. Love to hear your thoughts. Leave them down below. If you want to see more content from this channel, like and subscribe. If you want to hit me up in the forums or whatever social socials I'm connected to when you're watching this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com or forums.lawrencesystems.com and thanks.